Good morning. I know, I'm a mess. I just got off the treadmill. Nice cathartic hard run. Uh, it's 8.04 a.m. Friday the 20th of March. It's 72 degrees outside. It's dark and gloomy and about to rain. It's thundering outside. You know what? Let's check the radar. Um, I love this kind of weather, as you know, but it's not good for Rob. It is terrible for Rob. And as soon as this thunderstorm passes, I am going to get in the um, shower. I'm gonna go, it is dark. It's it, like, it's really dark out. No, it just started raining. And if you hear the thunder, then you're too close to the lightning. So never mind. So let's just look at this very quickly. I wanted to show you the bread. I know I look terrible. I'm sorry. I just got off the treadmill. So here is the bread. You guys, it's nice and pliable. Now it's cold right now, but I'm gonna heat it up. But you know, it focus, it tears like regular non bread. So maybe this one I did a good job on. I gotta heat this one up. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Um, what I was planning on doing is um, toasting this in the toaster oven and then having it with a little bit of butter with my eggs and bacon this morning. Um, so uh, to see you know, how it does. This kept me full for a long time yesterday. So it's super filling. So that's good. Now this is about half the recipe. So if I have the recipe correct, if I have it, hold on. If I have the recipe entered correctly, then the entire recipe is 541 calories and 10 grams of net carbs. Isn't that? Yes, 10 grams of net carbs. So half would be five grams of carbs, roughly. Um, but you need to put in your own numbers. It, you know, that's the thing about coconut flour. It's so high in carbs. So high in carbs but I would think maybe I mean they are the experts not me that would be Matt Megan and, and Matt from Keto Connect I just feel like this is a great recipe and it's fine to eat it in moderation um, so for me personally I feel like you could get three to four pieces of non bread out of that recipe okay I'm going to eat very quickly and um, then I'm going to um, go take a shower, get dressed, then I'm gonna get some work done on the computer, then I'm gonna tidy up the bathrooms again, then I'm going to tidy in my master bedroom. I need some organization in there. So what I'm trying to organize, I swear I talk so much, what I'm trying to organize is my backup skincare and um, my jewelry and my, my jewelry and my perfumes. There's just not enough room in my closet and I don't wanna buy another piece of furniture. Okay, so I toasted it up. Um, here's that little piece I tore off, so. Still feels like it could have cooked a little longer. So I'm gonna play with this. Maybe that's the right texture. Maybe that's just the way it is. I don't know, it's a little doughy on the inside. So. Again, we have to play with this recipe. I'm gonna keep experimenting with it and perfecting it. It's the first time I made it, but I think it has great potential. And I think if I can get it to completely cook before it burns, I think we'll be good to go. Also feel like if I bake it in the oven, I might have better results. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Look at this, very rainy day. We have a cold front coming through. Those get moved every time the yard guys come because they handle the weeds in the the granite over there. So not that's crushed granite and flagstone. Anyway, that's our easement, so that's why that's there. Um, anyway, we want to redo it at some point with something. We just don't know what. But there is a thick coating of pollen on everything. So I think this weekend, since we can't go anywhere or do anything, I think I'm gonna like spray down the patio, get the pressure washer out and clean the patio, do that, get it ready for spring. You can see my tulips over there. Do you see them right there? They sprouted again this year, bloomed, whatever. They, sh little shoots this year. Let's see if they flower. I don't know. I can't believe it did that. I just put it on the side of the house. I never did anything with it. And I went over on the side of the house the other day and there they were. I was like, wow. So this year I will take much better care of them once it's, they pass on. But maybe that's the option for me. Maybe bulbs are the answer for me. <laughs> it's still thunder and lightning, so I'm too afraid to go get in the shower. So as soon as it stops, I'll go get in the shower. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Robbie just left. He came home for a little while um, in between things we have going on. Um, I took a shower, and like I told you earlier this week, I'm not sure when you're seeing this or the format you're seeing it. Are we doing daily vlogs? I don't know what the upload schedule is, but now it is Friday the 20th, 69 degrees outside. 10:35 a.m. the temperature is dropping we do have a cool front coming through so um i put on my makeup you know trying to keep things as normal as possible i realize this color is too light for me i know but i'm trying to use up what i have so while i'm at home i'll use something that's a little too light for me tonight you can see it just barely right there i have a whole cut up chicken defrosting we are going to have chicken pot pie that is what i'm cooking tonight um so I'm gonna have to start it a little early. Oh, my hair's in my face. It drives me crazy. That's the only part that's hard for me is while it's drying. I try and leave it alone so that it doesn't get a weird bend in it, but it ends up with a weird bend because this is ultimately what happens. I have to get it out of my face. Um, it's defrosting over there and you defrost how you defrost, I defrost how I defrost. You do what you think is safest for you. So there you go. <laughs> I kind of thought of this last minute, so we're rushing the defrost. Anyway, um, hello? Okay, sorry, I don't even know what I was talking about, but we're gonna make chicken pot pie for dinner, so we're gonna kind of play with a recipe. So I'm gonna use the biscuits. Okay, the reference recipe I'm going to be using is from Keto Connect. Um, I'll link the video in the description box. And um, I'm definitely making their biscuits but the um, chicken pot pie recipe, I don't really have the ingredients they had. I have carrots, but I don't have onions, I don't have celery, I don't have any of that. So we're gonna use some chicken salt. I don't know, have you ever smelled this stuff? Oh, it smells like ramen. Remember ramen like in a, oh, I love that stuff. So I'm gonna be using this um, and shredded chicken and some cauliflower and broccoli in my recipe because well, that's what I have, so that's what we're gonna use. Um, and we're just gonna kind of make it up as we go and using the recipe that they have as like a guide. Um, we're gonna put some heavy whipping cream in it, we're gonna put some um, xanthan gum to thicken it up, and then we're going to put it in a ramekin and plop that biscuit up on top and have ourselves some chicken pot pie. So I'm excited about that comfort food. And it's a meal that I can make and it's good for a couple of meals. I don't know how much it makes, but I'm gonna be boiling up the whole chicken. Actually, I may not do the, the legs. I may save the legs and the dark meat for my son and let him take that home. But I'll throw the wings in there and you know all the other pieces of the chicken I'll throw in there and um, use it for uh, flavoring, the broth, you know, because it's bone in, skin on chicken, cut up chicken. So it should impart some great flavor into the broth. Okay, so I'm gonna start the chicken stock real quick. Um, I'm gonna cook the chicken and start the chicken stock for um, our chicken pot pies tonight. I told you about this, Robbie was sweet enough, he found celery and um, onion at the store, but um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make it tonight without as maybe we don't all have that, but I think we all have some sort of form of like chicken bouillon, which is what this is, um, and that kind of thing. Now, it's hard for me to find chicken bouillon that's gluten-free, and thankfully this one is, um, but not all of them are, so I'm really happy to have this, but bouillon would work basically the same way. Now, chicken salt, it is more, it's very strong, it smells like ramen, so just, just know that. What's in here is, Salt, spices, turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, and calcium stearate for anti-clumping. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chicken in the pot, I'm gonna turn the pot on, I put some salt and pepper in there, and that's it, okay? And I'm gonna bring it to a bubble and let it boil, let it simmer and cook for 30, 45 minutes, because I wanna make sure the chicken's cooked through. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, there it is. Um, that is two chicken wings and two chicken breasts, bone in, skin on. Um, the other parts of the chicken, the legs and the thighs, I sent home with Robbie so that he could use them as it really, we don't eat dark meat. So, um, you know, I know the wings are in there, but I won't feel too bad about just, you know, pulling the chicken off of those and sharing it with a cat or a dog. But I would have felt bad about the, um, 
the leg and thigh. So he happily took them home. Okay, so I have the chicken over here. I've pulled it off the stove that has bacon grease in it. I'm actually gonna use that for dinner tonight um, to start this. Uh, mm, Chandler's eating, so maybe I won't. I'll clean it first. Okay, so make the biscuits real quick. I'm gonna angle you down so you can see. Um, of course, the recipe will be linked below. It is Keto Connects recipe, so I won't share the exact details of it, but um, I will share it with you. I do need to verify the cooking temperature, so let me do that real quick, baking temperature of the biscuits. So 350 degrees, that's what I had the oven set at, but I just wanted to make sure. So we've got some butter in here, I said to do um, a couple of drops of stevia, and we have to do, whoops, My kids are playing a game together. <laughs> You're gonna hear some crazy. I mean, all three boys are playing together. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, they don't always have time to do that, so. Okay, so, and then, uh, I'm mumbling, I'm sorry. What is this? This is baking powder. And an egg. And almond flour. And then we're gonna mix everything together and form our biscuits. So here we go. Put this all together. This was a little drier than mine. Let me add a little more almond flour. I fluffed my almond flour up and uh, that made it a little airy and light. cookie scoop. All right, so I feel like this is a little small. One, two, how many did they get? out a little bit. Actually, let's do this. Hang on. Okay, so we're going to put those in the oven. All right, now we're going to pick the chicken, you know, off the bone. You don't need to see all that. Mm. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then once I'm done with that, we will start the pot pie. Okay, so there's a couple tablespoons of butter in there. We're gonna put the carrots in. You would normally be putting celery, onions, carrots. I don't have celery and onions, as I mentioned, and so we're gonna use, and I don't have it. We're gonna use broccoli and carrots. So we're gonna saute that up for a little while, let it get nice and tender. Those carrots get tender.
Okay, now I'm adding in the chicken. The carrots aren't quite soft yet, but um, we'll get them there. So I'm gonna add in the chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the stock. This is the chicken stock from cooking the chicken. About a cup and a half. And we're just gonna let that come to a bubble. I'll add a little more. Um, I'm just cooking those carrots at this point. Maybe cooking the broccoli a little bit. We might add a little more broccoli to that. Okay, I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of this chicken salt, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit more. Stir that up a little bit, and then we're gonna add some xanthan gum to this after we add the cream. Okay, now I'm gonna add a half a cup of whipping cream. Okay, and stir that in. And then I'm going to add the xanthan gum. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in um, some serving bowls or a ramekin and put uh, the biscuit on top and then we'll be ready to eat. Hey, okay, here it is, right here. It looks fantastic. We have a beautiful chicken pot pie under there. You know, the sauce, look how thick the water, the liquid got and the uh, chicken salt is delicious. Now what you do is you just sort of crack into that biscuit right there and get your bite. Oh, that's all broccoli. Let's see. I If the broccoli hadn't been frozen, I actually would have chopped it quite small. There we go. Mm -hmm. That is really good. Okay. Um, I'll write down what I did in the description box for you, but it was super simple and easy. And uh, if you have frozen vegetables, you know, of course they need to be keto friendly, but this has carrots in it. You could just use broccoli and cauliflower, that chicken salt, I'll find it on Amazon and link it for you. And um, uh, make this, this is so, so good. So good, comfort food, exactly what we need. Okay, I'm watching Sharon at sea, so if you hear her, that's it's her live right now. This stuff made all the difference in this chicken pot pie tonight. Um, now, it says in, in a, I think that says a quarter teaspoon, there's no carbs. Please don't believe that. There are carbs and spices and stuff like that. So if that, is, if that is your biggest concern, then do your own research on this. You know, you can see right here. So um, I basically go to uh, just the Google and I Google the spices and I see how many carbs are in like a teaspoon, a tablespoon, that kind of thing to kind of get an estimate of how many would be in here. Um, for me personally, it's okay if it's a few more. I'm not, my thing primarily is grain free. But um, I have three pot pies left over. Chandler will have one later. Um, it made one, two, three, four, five, six biscuits. They're very flat and low. They were the perfect crust. 
Um, that was absolutely delicious. I, I really, um, that needs to be a staple. I'm going to make that with cauliflower rice and broccoli. Um, this, you know that creamy chicken flavor? You, That's this. Just like in a bullion, that's what this is. You know, I have no idea. This is Jada Spices Chicken Salt, all-purpose seasoning, vegan, original, and Australian tradition. I will always have this in my cabinet going forward. But I think you can probably get the same thing from a bullion cube if that's what you can find. So I do have bullion cubes in the cabinet as well. So, okay. So that'll be it for today. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna be uploading the vlogs just every couple of days or every day or whenever they get finished editing, I'll pop them up there just as a distraction from all of this and uh, to kind of save us from some of our boredom. For those of you who might not have a lot going on or anybody to talk to or whatever the case may be, we're here and uh, we can chat together. So watch for the different lives going up. Uh, by now, this is probably a few days in, but watch for a few of the lives coming up and we'll try and pop in here and there and just chat with everybody and uh, go from there. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in a day or two.